Kayo Mangalilo, Shalavananai, Kamadalahi Samihi. Hello, loves, it's yours truly, Zaza Corvana, and I give you a warm welcome to the kingdom of Thalanthia, the kingdom of Atlantis. Welcome to Thala Nation, your source for authentic Atlantean culture and heritage. This video will be the first in a long series of videos teaching you about the Atlanteans themselves, such as their origins, what they look like, their descendants, among other things. As an oracle of the ancient Thalanthia civilization, I am giving you what I saw in my spiritual dreams and visions concerning the migration patterns of the old world Thala people. The mother taught me that the genesis of the Atlanteans rests in Northwest Africa, and they became a people circa 320,000 BC, the time period I saw in a vision from mother. The Atlanteans were an indigenous African people who were descendants of the Azayans or the Azani, whose civilization goes back 2.5 million years in the heart of Africa. But in this video, I will not talk about the Azayans because it gets into the origin of the human race as a whole and our coexistence with the hominid species of that time, such as the Nuwak race, which I learned from mother. Many people today have this view of the Atlanteans as being a super race or godlike people, aliens or what have you. But when we are speaking about the Atlanteans, it is important to view them as they culturally were. A normal people, just as everyone else on this planet. They lived, they died, they traded in commerce, they made peace, they made, and they waged war. They ate, they drank, and made merry. They married one another and had children, and their children had children. And their descendants are still about to this very day. The Atlanteans had an extremely rich culture. And not only that, they were also a beautiful, colorful, and diverse people. Most of the indigenous Atlanteans had a copper-colored complexion, according to how I saw them, but there were Atlanteans who were as dark as Nubians and also as light as ivory. Even indigenous pale complexion Atlanteans and albinos were born among the people. So there was really no one Atlantean look. This diversity may have been a result of where they lived in Northwest Africa, being a major waypoint of migrations from all over. The Atlanteans were an advanced civilization at their height of their existence. But they were also a primitive people at one point in time as well in their humble beginnings. A nomadic hunter-gatherer, pastoral, and agricultural people. They were a people of the arts and loved music, theater, fashion, jewelry. They had the finest cuisines the world had ever known and the most loving and kind-hearted people. When it comes to their migrations, the map you see is exactly what I saw in my spiritual visions and dreams from mother. I was soaring as of an eagle over the Atlantic Ocean, and I saw the many ships and caravans of the Atlanteans as they moved about and expanded their territory. The Atlanteans had not always lived on the island, which was called Animula. No, they migrated there from Africa. Being a maritime culture, they were expert navigators of the sea and great shipbuilders. They knew the Atlantic Ocean well, the waves, the currents, as the waters were their home. During their voyages out to sea, they discovered and landed upon many islands that were once emerged during their era. Animula was the main one, which was the name of the island that once existed in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and kind of still, still does to this very day, simply known as the Azores, or the Azores. And when the Atlanteans landed upon Animula, many of them settled and called the island their permanent home. I will teach more about the island in the future, such as the environment, nature, weather, and how and why it sunk, according to what the mother has taught me. Though the majority of migrating Atlanteans remained on the island, there were a minority who continued to migrate west, island hopping across the Atlantic. Many have brought to my attention that this migration pattern would not have been possible due to the ocean gyres of the Atlantic. But one must know that the Atlantic today is not the Atlantic of yesterday. The currents were interrupted by the great and many land masses that once protruded the sea, primarily speaking of Animula Island. The Sargasso Sea is a region in the Atlantic Ocean where the currents are not so strong, a dead and calm sea. During this time, the Sargasso Sea was bordered by the island to the east and the North American continent to the west. This, along with the other minor islands within the Sargasso Sea, allowed the Atlanteans to migrate west, northwesterly or southwesterly because of the winds. The Atlanteans who migrated to, to North America became the Aboriginal Americans, whose descendants are still around to this very day, only classified as a different name by European colonizers and explorers who found, who found them here. I will speak more about this in a later video. The Atlanteans through time began to settle and spread throughout the eastern woodlands, 
of North America and even to the Caribbean as their new permanent home. Atlantean territory during this time expanded from Northwest Africa to as far away as the Mississippi. The Nile of America, many great civilizations, cities, and cultures sprouted from American soil. American civilization is indebted to the Atlanteans who, who first discovered the Americas. A millennia later, you have the arrival of the Siberian races, the Asians who migrated westerly down the coast of Northwest America by way of the Pacific, and by the riverways spread further inland into the plains, such as I saw, the western deserts and further south coming into contact with the American Aborigines, the Atlanteans. Though some interactions were peaceful, the newly arrived Asians and the American Aborigines warred often for land and food, and this caused further mass migrations throughout the Americas. In my spiritual dreams and visions from mother, I saw an antediluvian African kingdom called Ololunyo, which was in West Africa, around modern day Senegal and Mauritania. It was the land of the Olu people who were close allies to the Atlanteans who lived just to the north. The Olu spread throughout West Africa and also being voyagers of the sea, sailed across the Atlantic to the northern coast of South America and the outer islands, especially to ancient Haiti. The Olu mingled and traded with the Atlanteans and the Asiatic American kingdoms who settled the land during that time. If you like this content and you want to know more about authentic Atlantean culture, heritage, spirituality, and language, please consider subscribing to Thala Nation, dedicated to all things Atlantis. It was yours truly, Zaza Cordovana, Kamadala Hisamithi, and as always, may Atlantis rise again. Thank you. Leonani. Yeah. Uh -huh.